from daily forex this is chris and i'm looking at bitcoin and it's you know it's more pain it's down six percent uh during the trading session on friday and uh at this point i think it's obvious that uh the market simply cannot um i just don't think it can support itself under any circumstances so um rallies are to be sold what kind of what really has me con concerned about this is that the um market participants some of them out there I, I see them saying well it's just it's institutions pushing value down so they can come in and pick up all these coins for, on the cheap and then it's going to go to a million next year those days are over unequivocally those days are over we will not see ten dollar or ten percent gains in this market on a daily basis um at least consistently like we were at one point ever again that's that's done that's not coming back you can see and when you when you zoom out you can see any volume spike is almost always negative um i would also point out that um during this very low volatility time frame over the last several months that even with the volatility dropping the way it had uh, payments in Bitcoin had dropped something like 78%. I'd have to pull up the article, but it was it was massive. It was enough to, to, to blow that myth out of the water. This is not going to be a method of payment ever. Um, quite frankly, the central banks won't allow it. They'll just put their own cryptocurrency out there, and your Aunt Matilda is going to be using that, not something that was made up in somebody's basement by somebody, nobody who knows who he is. So, I, again, I, I just... I don't see the argument for Bitcoin. Uh, I do see the argument for a bounce here at 4,000, but I also see the argument for shorting it at five if we can make it that high. If we break 4,000, we're probably going to go down to about 3,000, uh, maybe 3,500 in the short term. I think 2,500 is probably longer term target, and then eventually something close to zero. Um, it's just not being used. So at this point it's going to be difficult to imagine a bullish scenario i would at the very least uh demand a daily close above the 50-day ema which is at six thousand, which is a 50 percent gain from here that tells you how bearish this market has gotten mm -hmm.